first package, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit concerned about. to another episode of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who action figures. Today's video is going to be slightly different to what we're used to on this channel. The second part of the video I'm going to be showcasing some figures over here that I've had for, for some time in the collection and I just want to kind of show them um, and explain to you which ones I've got, which ones I need to get and why I've got what I've got. But for the first part of this video, I want to focus on opening these two packages. We've got one really big one and one kind of medium sized one. So let's crank up the pen knife and open up these packages. OK, so the first package, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit concerned about simply because I know what's inside this package. It's already kind of when I'm shaking it, making some kind of not good noises and I don't think it's been packed very well. It probably, in fact, it should definitely have come in a cardboard box. So I'm a little bit dubious about opening this, but we'll do it and find out what we've got inside. So without further ado, get out of my way, Perry. Here we go. Okay, so I've actually struggled to open this package in any shape or form because the brown paper is like wrapped so tightly around I just can't get it out without kind of destroying it completely but anyway and you may be wondering what on earth is inside this package well let me give you a clue there are three items inside this particular set they all have hemispheres and you've probably guessed it already so let's just carefully open up the bubble wrap make sure I don't damage the box any further unless it isn't damaged at all in which case that would be really really good okay so the moment of truth Let's see if any of these Daleks are damaged. And the answer to the question is no, they're not. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is the Dalek collector set number two. And I can tell you now that there's not a single damaged Dalek in the set. And I'm really happy about it. I was convinced I could hear something rattling around when I was uh, shaking the package earlier. So that's filled me with a lot more confidence in this particular seller so thank you very much for that my uh, anonymous friend uh, let's just get rid of the bubble wrap for now we don't need that so as you all know i'm currently recollecting my classic doctor who character options action figures now that means also that not only am i collecting each set twice one to keep in its box one to open i'm also army building certain figures now of course daleks are easily my favorite thing to army build simply because they don't fall over um, and they look damn cool as well. So there's two collector sets that the Daleks were released in. There's this one, which is the second one, and there's also the first one, which had the Dead Planet Dalek, the Genesis Dalek, and the Supreme Dalek from Planet of the Daleks. Now, the reason I like this set more is simply because I feel that for army building purposes, it's slightly better. Don't get me wrong, I do want to army build the Dead Planet and Genesis Daleks, but the Genesis of the Daleks obviously also come in the Genesis of the Daleks set where you can quite happily have many Daleks from the Genesis of the Daleks and it just leaves you with a Dead Planet Dalek which in all fairness I would probably say well I've got two at the moment and I'll maybe get four or five and then call it a day with the Dead Planet Daleks but I really really want to army build the Evil Guard Dalek here, this one here along with, <clears throat> excuse me, a frog in my throat I really want to army build this particular Dalek here, uh, the Evil Guard Dalek, along with the Chase Dalek, um, because, or you could call it a Power Dalek, because they look pretty much identical, because then you can kind of spread it out in two stories of Patrick Troughton, and I just, I really love that Dalek design. And it also comes with this Dalek here, of course, which if I'm not much mistaken, is the Saucer Pilot Dalek. Now. With the Dalek from the first Doctor and Dalek set, that one's all black and that's the Saucer Commander, I believe, whereas this one's just kind of a Saucer Pilot. Slightly different, it hasn't got all black on the skirt, it's actually got silver and black, um, kind of a bit sporadically on the skirt. So again, you can army build this one quite successfully, I feel. Now, finally, the Supreme Dalek, you may be thinking, well, you can't really army build that one so much. Well, I 
am willing to do so because now this Dalek appears in Frontier in space, albeit for a few seconds. It also appears in Day of the Daleks, or a Dalek very similar to this appears in Day of the Daleks. I believe the Day of the Daleks one would have the black under um, on the rings here, all in gold, but to be honest, it's, it's as good as it's going to get. So you've already got two stories that you can have it in, and also I like to think of it being in Planet of the Daleks, and it can sit very nicely next to the Supreme Dalek that came from the first set, so that's why I'm happy um, but army building this particular set. Now, this particular set cost me about £30, which isn't too bad, it's £10 a Dalek, I'm really happy about that. When these sets came out, the Dalek Collector set number two, so this one, was really, really expensive. It was like, it was going for like over £100 at the time. Then B&M actually released or re-released this particular set. And this is actually one from the B&M series. I believe the Daleks are exactly the same inside. They've just got different style packaging. But it, that's why these ones are so much cheaper um, to buy, because I guess B&M flooded the market and we're left with these ones so that's why you can pick these up so cheaply so if you're like me looking at buying Daleks for your collection then I'd recommend buying the collector set number two this one because you can pick it up for about 30 pounds Dalek collector set number one does seem to go for double that so you're looking at 60 pounds plus so like I said this is the better option if army building is your thing now I have already got this particular set on the shelf open and I have also got this particular set closed or sealed as well. So this one will be being opened because I've decided, like I said, I've already got one mint in its packaging and therefore this one will be opened. So comment down below if you actually want me to start making videos of me opening my duplicate sets for the army building purposes. I don't mind making those videos for you guys if you want to watch them. So please, if you've made it this far in a video, thank you and comment down below telling me yes, Raven, I want to see you doing your unboxing of action figures in a video and then I'll do it. So that's that one. Right, I feel like I spoke for ages about that one, but I'm, I'm happy to have another Dalek set, obviously. So let's crack on with opening the bigger box and it is definitely a bigger box. Now, spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure there is only one thing in this box. I'm not really sure why the box is so damn big, but let's find out and see what it is I've got inside. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way before we knock it on the floor. So I've gone ahead and unsealed this massive giant box, which to be fair might come in useful for something else I can put in. But for now, let's find out what we've got inside this box. And I can guarantee you, because I can already see it, there is tons of newspaper. Oh joy, more recycling, never mind. I must say props to the seller that I bought this off because this has been packaged absolutely fantastically. We've even got whatever this stuff's called, kind of bubble wrap tube things. But let's try and leave them in the box and just pull this set out. And here we have it. Let's just hide this box away. Okay, so I'm going to release the set from the bubble wrap if I can. It's very tight. You know what? I'm just going to rip it. It's just easier. And here we have the amazing, one of my favorite sets without a shadow of a doubt, the chase set. Okay, I'm going to have to stand up for the part of this part of the video. So here you can see I've got the complete mint set times three. And I will be opening two of these and leaving one mint in its packaging. I've already got the mechanoid on the shelf, so that means I'll have three mechanoids and I'll have four chase Daleks to have on the collection so far. So I will be on the lookout for many more of these chase sets. They do cost anything from 40 to 50 pounds a go, so they are quite expensive, but in my opinion, of course, they're worth it. So that is the unboxing part of this video. I'm now gonna sit back down and just quickly show you the other part of this video that I wanted to show you. Okay, so the second part of this video, I really just wanted to kind of quickly go over some of the sets that I've recently purchased and the ones that I've got duplicates of and give you the reason why I've got the duplicates. I'm pretty sure you're gonna guess it anyway. And also, like I mentioned earlier on in this video, if you want me to make a video or a series of videos of me opening the actual sets themselves, for the army building purposes, then please do comment down below and let me know. Okay, so with that being said, very no particular order. You may have noticed that I'm gonna be focusing solely on the 
figures that are released in this type of packaging simply because I just thought it would make sense to do that all in one video. So this is the very first one I have to show you. This is the fourth Doctor that is regenerated, so he is from a robot. Originally this came with the Time Capsule set and has also recently been re-released in the B&M set. Now I know they are, there are certain differences between all these figures. Um, but basically with this one, I've got it in its packaging and I just need to track down one more to open and have on the display shelf. And that's all I can say about that particular figure. So we'll leave that one here. Moving on, we have this one here. This is Perry and Shara's Jack. Again, I need to buy this one one more time. So I've got it in its packaging and then I can open this one and that would be the end of that because we don't need an army of Shara's Jacks. As much as I love the bloke, one's enough. And then we have Leela, and again, I need this one one more time so I can open this particular one. And again, I don't need to buy any more Leelas that are single releases. Okay, so this is now where it gets a little bit more interesting. So this is the Leela and Commander store set. Now, with this particular set, again, I don't really want to be army building Leela, but I do want to be army building the Sontaran. I know, technically speaking, the scouts that came with him had different helmets. I don't believe they had the marking on. So I can either get rid of a marking that's on the helmet, perhaps, or not worry about it too much, and just have like four or five Sontarans, and then have this one without his helmet on. And that would be my Sontaran collection complete. So I will be looking at buying this set another five or six times. So that's Leela and Commander Store. Then we have Ace from A Remembrance of the Daleks. No, we have, I always do this, this is Ace from Silver Nemesis. Now this one I'm going to buy two more times because one minute it's packaging and two opened because you can have a variant of Ace. You can have Ace with a jacket on or Ace without a jacket and her white sleeved arm. So I've got to buy two more of those. And this one is Ace from Silver Nemesis. I've, oh my goodness. This is Ace from Remembrance of the Daleks. Again, I need to buy this one two more times. One to keep mint and one to open. Well, two to open, sorry. And again, you can swap the arms and the jacket to make it, you know, a little bit more varied. Okay, there'll be four Aces. Hey, four Aces, get in there. There'll be four Aces in the um, collection. And that doesn't really bother me because Ace is cool, not a problem. Then we have, oh, okay, didn't realize I had this one. I've already got one of them anyway, so that being said, I only need to buy one more of these aces and then I've got my four aces. I'm, I'm confusing myself, but yeah, that, that's right. I hope you're still with me because I'm losing myself here. Then we've got Perry and a rogue Cyberman and you may have already spotted, I have already got three of these sets, so for the sake of keeping one mint in its packaging, this one will be left mint in its packaging, and therefore I've got these two to open. I've got two spare Perrys, which I obviously won't be needing, so we'll probably donate one of those or both of those to you lovely folk. And I will then have two rogue Cybermen, which I can kind of start to army build. With this particular Cyberman, you can have it with the face on or off, so there's a bit of a variant there. I believe, if I just have a little look, I've already got several, I'm going to say several because that is an exact number so I can't actually see, I've already got several Rogue Cybermen, so we are getting to having quite a big Rogue Cyberman army there, but that's 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 pretty good, that's, um, that's going well. So, that being said, I've probably confused everybody because I'll be completely honest with you, I've confused myself with all these aces and parries and god knows what else but i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been informative and i hope you've enjoyed the show and i will be back very soon in the next episode of me recollecting my classic doctor who character options figures yes that's becoming quite a mouthful but i'm getting used to it until then take care of yourselves and i will see you all again soon in the next video bye for now